Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here. Today, thanks to Drew and Andrea, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. Drew and Andrea have been supporting my channel for a very long time and I really do appreciate it. And it was such a surprise to get this package of goodies. So let's have a look at what's in the box. They've sent me a note here. Dear Tam, greetings from the Buckeye State. Excuse my ignorance, but what is a Buckeye? I should know what it is, but I don't. Is it some sort of an animal? Sounds like an oxen or something like that. If this was who wants to be a millionaire, I'd bail. Maybe it's a tree. I'm gonna lock in tree for a million dollars. This is something I probably should know, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. This highest root beer is a childhood favorite of ours that is difficult to find. I'm not really a fan of root beer, as you all know, so I'm hoping that this isn't something that you love, love, love from your childhood, and I'm gonna try it and just go, I don't like it, but there is a possibility. Apologies in advance. It might be amazing though. Also included are some Ohio made unusual and new treats probably not available in Australia. Oh cool. Thank you so much for the letter and these treats. Let's get stuck into them. Oh my gosh look at all the cool stuff in here. I did actually refrigerate the root beer ahead of time. I planned ahead. By the way I'm using a different video camera today. My video camera has issues. It seems to have developed. Oh it's not going to do it now. It's a rattle. So I've got to win Lotto next week so I can buy a new video camera and computer and everything else basically. First up here, we've got a box of Cracker Jack and I have had these before. Now these come with a prize inside. Wait a minute. Blip a surprise. What does that even mean? Unlock a digital experience on your smartphone. How to blip? <laughs> If someone came up and asked me, do you know how to blip? I'd just say, look, I'm not interested, mate. How to blip. One, download the free... Oh, do I really want to do this? Blipper app. I don't know about this. No, I don't like it. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at here. What am I supposed to blipper here? Why can't it just be Cracker Jack? Wouldn't that be easier? No, 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 no. I'm going to put in Cracker Jack. <laughs> Why not? No result. That's why you don't put that in. If I spelt blipper right, how many ways can you spell it? Oh, I, I have spelled it wrong. It's blip R with an A R. Far out. Blipper. He's Blipper's cousin. Okay, so I'm getting the blipper app. I hope I've picked the right one. Oh, far out. What's my ID? Ding. Let's see if my phone's been blippered. This is an app I'll probably delete later on. I really love the taste of Cracker Jack. It's popcorn and it's caramel and it's also got peanuts in there. It's very similar to our Lolly Gobble Bliss Bombs. I know, that is an actual name of something here. Uh, okay, I'm in. Oh, hello. Who's a winner? Me. So I've got to lift and peel this. Thrilling. Uh -huh. How to blip. No, I don't want to blip, but I have to because it's telling me to do it and I don't want to miss out. <laughs> blip, 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 What am I even aiming it at? <laughs> By continuing or agreeing to blip our terms and conditions. What have I gotten myself into? A world of pain, I think. Oh my gosh, you've got no idea of the madness that's going on in this blipper app. <laughs> It's got strange people changing themselves into giraffes and stuff, and I'm just not really into that. Far out. <sighs> Why have I done this? Aim and frame. I still don't know what I'm supposed to aim and frame. This sucks. Would like to access your camera, would you? Far out. All right. I will have to let them do it, don't I? Allow Blipper to access your location. No, I don't want that. Location permission lets Blipper create a more relative experience for you. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't understand. What am I looking at? Do they just mean do I frame the little picture of this creepy kid here with the dog? This sucks. This is stupid. Beyond stupid. I've just touched a star. Oh, your history is empty. <laughs> Tap and hold to search. Blipper recognizes millions of things like your favorite foods, cars, famous faces. I don't like this app at all. It sucks. Oh, it's come up with Windex. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps coming up with Windex on my screen. I don't even know what this is suck for. Blip a surprise. Now, never blip your phone, everyone. It's blippity blip blip blip. Three, reveal a fun digital experience. Well, I never got a fun digital experience, thank you very much. I've either done the wrong app or um, it just really, really sucks and it doesn't work. Could be a bit of both. I've blipped and it hasn't worked, so I'm giving up. You know why a blip's gone in the bin? Oops! <laughs> I'm moving on to better times. Let's have a look at the real prize in the box, which is the Cracker Jack. Look at this. Yum. I love this mixture. It's beautiful caramel popcorn, and you've also got peanuts in there as well. Mmm. I 
love this. Love it. And I love that it comes in this beautiful little box too. Oh, pork rinds. These ones are called Bell Reach Pork Rinds. These have been made since 1920. Now, not always a fan of pork rinds because they're too piggy for me usually. I'll try our other fine snacks. Cheese curls. Ooh, yum. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm one of those weirdos that doesn't really like crackling. Oh, try it. I might like it. Oh, yeah. You know what? They're the best pork rinds I've had. I don't usually like pork rinds. I taste them and they've got this weird undertaste that's just too, too piggy. Really nice and crispy and salty and not too piggy, ironically. They've got a little bit of a smokiness to them, these ones as well. The smell of them is quite strong and I thought, oh, <coughs> the taste of them is really nice. Really crispy, really salty, yum. Time for a beverage break and here it is, a Hires Root Beer. I love the simple plain can that it comes in. It looks very old fashioned. The original root beer, 100% caffeine free, 12 ounces of it. What else can I tell you about it? The root beer is made from the root of a tree. Who would think you get a soda out of that? Oh, it's a nice dark colour, isn't it? Looks like the same colour as a Coca-Cola. Cheers! Oh, this is a smell. Oh, don't smell it, just drink it. Oh, you know what? Out of all the root beers I've had, this one's really nice. It's actually a lot sweeter than a lot of the other root beers I've ever tried before. And it has still got that interesting, unique flavour that root beer has. It tastes a little bit like medicine for a lot of us out there. I'm really shocked right now. I'm enjoying root beer. Mm. Oh, yum. It's actually got a nice creamy finish to it as well. Mm. Oh, just don't smell it. If you don't, oh. Is it normal? that your mouth goes kind of numb when you have it. I'd say if you haven't had root beer before and you want to try it for the first time, go for this one because it's really quite nice. It's got a nice smooth finish on it. Next up I've got these Rue Farms Rustic Potato Chips. Look at the unique cover on that. How cool. Now that's based off that famous painting which is, oh I can't remember my art history right now. They put themselves into the picture which is a really cool idea. And they're just sea salt flavours. Have a look in the bag there. How rustic do they look? Uh-huh. Oh. Mmm. Yum. They're not over the top salty, but having said that, I really like that about them. Really fresh and crispy from a humble start using a Christmas gift countertop fryer. Oh, super adorable. I love stories like that. I seriously do. Roo Farms Rustic Potato Chips have a common long way to provide you with a wonderful snack using the finest russet potatoes. I love that. Thank you, Matt and Janine Roo Farms. These are really tasty, really crispy. Love them. Tic Tac Scum. This one is watermelon flavoured. Cool watermelon. Is that because it's got another flavour in there as well? It looks like on the cover there that it's got mint in there. It hasn't probably. I'm going to have all of these at once. Oh, yum. Oh, they do feel cool. <laughs> I don't know how they've made it feel cold, but it actually is like a cooled down watermelon. It's an icy watermelon flavor. Super sweet, really yummy, and I love that you crunch into the crispy shell on the outside. And then you've got that beautiful flavored gum as well. Yum. Love watermelon. And the flavour seems to last for a while too, which is good. Let me know if you've tried this flavour before. I think it's crazy that it's cool. Pearson's Bun Sea Salt Caramel. Real Milk Chocolate. There's a word I don't know. What does that say? Oh, it's Virginia. <laughs> I was trying to read it as a U. That's what I do. Virginian Peanuts and Caramel. How can you go wrong with that? Why is it called a bun? That's weird. Oh, wow. Okay, look at this beautiful thing. See that bit of caramel enticing me inside there? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Love it. 
that smooth flowing caramel in there. Really sweet, really tasty, and it's got just a little hint of sea salt in there. Not so much that it tastes like it's come straight from the sea or anything. If you want to compare it to something, of course you're going to compare it to a Snickers. I think I'm enjoying it more than a Snickers. It's more restrained. It's more elegant with its flavors I think. The peanuts are actually really good quality in here. I know I'm not a nut kind of sir but every now and then I try to be. The chocolate is quite nice and smooth in it as well and the combination of everything just works so beautifully. Let me know if you've ever seen this before or if you've ever tried it before. I really love it. Thank you so much Drew and Andrea. Mwah. I really do appreciate you sending me this box of treats. If everyone in the comments below could thank Drew and Andrea because without them this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel please remember to give this video the thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You've got to hold things in an awkward way. Bye.